Hello, I'm Don from West System Epoxy. Today I'd like to share a few simple tips when mixing West System Epoxy. Proper mixing is vital to ensure the epoxy reaches its optimal cure properties. This is critical, especially for projects or repairs that will undergo high loads. Before we start mixing the epoxy, it's always best to put on protective gloves and safety glasses. Now that we have our protective gloves and our safety glasses on, I'd like to give you six simple tips to help you mix the West System Epoxy. Tip number one, you want to select a container that has straight parallel sides for accurate measuring. Ideally, a clean plastic or metal container, and you don't want to use foam or glass. Tip number two, you want to select a mixing stick that has a flat end, and the reason for it is it gets to the inside corners of your container to mix the resin and the hardener together thoroughly. Tip number three, you want to make sure you take your stir stick and scrape the bottom of the containers along with the sides so the resin and the hardener are blended together. Tip number four, as you stir the resin and hardener together, you'll begin seeing streaks within the cup. This is unmixed resin and hardener. You can verify that the epoxy has been mixed enough by checking to see if these streaks are gone. Tip number five, for clear epoxy finishes, it's important to stir slowly. Stirring introduces air bubbles in the epoxy, which can interfere with clarity. The slower that you stir, the fewer the bubbles that are introduced. Tip number six, thoroughly mixed epoxy is vital for a proper cure. Stir the epoxy for at least one minute to ensure that the resin and hardener are fully blended. And for larger batches of epoxy, stir for a longer time. Proper mixing is vital for great results on your epoxy project. Using these tips will help ensure that the epoxy is always thoroughly mixed. Before I go, here's a bonus tip. To check how well you're really doing mixing your epoxy, next time you have a cured remnant left in your mixing pot, pop it out and run your glove finger around the bottom edge of the remnant. If there's any sticky residue, the epoxy was not thoroughly mixed. If it's clean, smooth, and hard, congratulations. You're an epoxy mixing expert. Best of luck with your next project and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos from West System Epoxy.